Okay, so this is ultramarine violet, cadmium red light, cadmium yellow light, and uh, white, titanium white. So I'm mixing, see this ultramarine violet mixed with cadmium red light. It's gonna darken my, my red a bit. And that, that is perfect, just perfect color. To start this side of the umbrella, And then we'll highlight it a bit. So I'm starting with a darker red. And this is a round, small brush. So I'm gonna go dark this side. I'm gonna leave a very small, narrow line in between i mean you don't have to you could because we're going to add it after so it doesn't have to be you don't have to leave a line in between okay. still need water okay and right there and it, there's a, a bit of a curve, which makes it look more interesting and it makes it look more like an umbrella. Sorry, I got interrupted there. Do you make mix uh, the ultramarine violet a bit with that through uh, Leah? I mix ultramarine violet with cadmium red light. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Yeah, you're that. welcome. No problem. This is good. Okay, so I'm. What I'm going to do right now is um, take more of the ultramarine violet. I'm going to stop in a minute. More of the ultramarine violet. Keep. You don't have to wash your. Uh, you know, clean your brush. I just want to put this dark color inside the umbrella. And even we, if we have to take it all the way in for now, and we will adjust the highlight later on if we need to. This is inside the umbrella, not the outside part. I'm gonna clean my brush. Okay, so since I have this red and ultramarine violet in it, I'm gonna grab some yellow. So that makes my yellow kind of an earthy orange for the first layer. Oops. Is the umbrella two tone? Two tone? Is the umbrella two colors? No, one color. Oh, but you're putting yellow on it? Yeah. What do you mean? It is a, a yellow and a red. Okay, umbrella. so there are two colors in the umbrella. That's what you. Yes, saying. yes, yes. Okay, okay. Yes, two colors in the umbrella. Okay. 
but we're going to highlight all of this. It's not going to be like this intense. We're going to be putting white with this. This is just the first layer. You'll see in a minute when I start highlighting. Now I'm adding red, I'm adding white to my red to desaturate the color. And this is what the sun does too. It just makes it um, washed out, it makes the red look like it's washed out. Did you leave a little bit of yellow in it on your brush? No, I cleaned okay. my brush. Okay. looking really good. I might have to kind of more uh, highlight it more later on, but that's that's awesome for now. Sorry, what color do you use that's, on three violet, red and white? White, yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay, now I'm adding white to the same colors I used before. I'm just adding white. To these to the colors okay that needs to be toned down a bit that's too light too strong so i'm i'm take to tone down my yellow i used white in my yellow and i'm putting a color right here um on the on that same umbrella you know it could be two umbrellas next to each other In the, I can't tell in the in the picture if it's two umbrellas or one. More white with yellow top part. Clean my brush, grab more white with my, with the red because it's, because acrylic dries darker. And I'm trying to bring the value closer to each other on these two colors here. So they don't look like this, they're disconnected.
That's crimson and Naples yellow. I'll mix them together. It's a really nice color. And I'm gonna take a bit of white at first and put it in here in that mixture. So that is maybe not white enough, like light enough, but it's enough for a first layer. I'm gonna wet my brush, use a smaller one. We will highlight it more, but for now, I'd like to see this pink in here. It's such a beautiful, pink is so nice, beautiful um, with blue. Mm -hmm. Trying to make the angle um, a bit tilted. Okay, that's good. So now I can take white and highlight it. I like this part. So this part is, this part here is against a light background. I'm gonna highlight it a little bit more just to bring the value together. Although in the picture, the umbrella is, um, is really light, but we're not doing the same color, so. Yeah, that's good. All right, one more, the one next to it now. And I'll keep adjusting the highlight. I'm, I'm leaving a very sort of uh, fine line in between, very small line, narrow. Okay, let's do this. Darken a bit. I'll wait for it to dry and then I will highlight more. Okay. Take one. Let's take more white. Let's make it really soft pink. Okay. Okay. 
This is just ultramarine violet. I'm just putting a bit of detail on top. And then I'm going to take raw umber and just push the post down here. Hmm. Okay. This umbrella needs adjusting. I'm adjusting the, the shape of the umbrella using the uh, um, uh, off-white color titanium buff in the background. Should wait for it to dry a bit. Does this umbrella look too pink? I think it looks lovely. Okay. All right, let's fix it a bit then. Are you thinking it doesn't go with the other one? Um, 
just thinking, no, I'm not thinking about this one. I'm thinking about the whole, um, all of the colors around, around it. Um, I think it should be okay. Just highlight it a bit more. So it's a soft, soft pink. Um, I think I lost a bit of the edge here. I'm just highlighting values, that's all. Like I'm, I'm adding some highlights and texture that's going back to Naples yellow, uh, crimson and white, back and forth. I think that's, that's good. Okay, for the shadow of the post, I'm just using a bit of uh, Payne's gray and water. So it's kind of a transparent color. And let me see if this is transparent enough. I think we should be a bit more transparent. Okay, wipe my brush. Yeah, that's good. So it shouldn't be, shouldn't be opaque. And I'm just gonna make it, I, I drew uh, with pencil, just a bit of a guideline for me. So I don't have to worry when I'm putting the color on uh, about the direction of the, the post, the, the, the um, shadow. Okay, 
let it dry and see if it needs another layer because this is a maybe too transparent right here, but I'll, I'll let it dry first. Meanwhile, while I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm gonna take um, burnt sienna and burnt umber, mix them and add a touch of white so I can see them. So burnt sienna is gonna make, give me that orangey color for the skin tone. And burnt umber is going to make the burnt sienna darker and more opaque. And I'm putting a bit of white and I'm just putting the, the skin tone on their face. Very, um, oh, right here. It's very uh, kind of a general, it, it doesn't have any detail, just to soften a bit. Um, it will dry darker. That's it. That looks good. Okay. That's it. 